everyone, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a belated Camp NaNoWriMo update and just overall general writing update because this is long overdue. I mentioned in an earlier video that I was really having a hard time deciding on what to work on for camp. I'm kind of torn. So I have this one project that I've shelved. It's a YA fantasy, it's a story of my heart. I love it, but it's gonna be a passion project. Like I don't know if it's gonna get published anytime soon or ever um, but I love it and I wanted to work on it for me but then at the same time I also have this book outlined and ready to start drafting that was that's this um, more marketable possibly like a career starting book so I was just torn I didn't know which one to write which one to work on but I ended up going with the new middle grade project called the odd book or <laughs> Tobe, as I'm calling it, which I think is just so funny. Tobe. I started writing that and I did not really set myself any specific goals uh, for this camp other than just to work on it. I have a lot of health stuff going on, unfortunately. That's not very fun. So, um, and I kind of know myself and I know that I'll set goals and then when I don't accomplish them because of like disability stuff, I'll get really, really mad at myself and be mean to me. And I'm trying not to be so mean to myself anymore and like focus on like, self-love and like disability acceptance and like all of those <laughs> nice fuzzy things that I like suck at. My goal was just to work on the book however my body can handle it for the month of July and I did that. I quickly came across a problem though which I already knew I was gonna have and that was where I didn't know if the book was gonna be written in first person or third. I really struggled with this for a while because my current middle grade in the query trenches is written in first person present and it feels really voicey and almost like YA contemporary just aged down a little bit where she's really like sassy and sarcastic and it's just it's that voice that we all know <laughs> and um, I, I really struggled with going to this new book and feeling like I needed a voice that complemented the glass witch just in case I was able to sell the glass witch then I would have like a companion novel to like also sell to the same publishers because publishers tend to buy standalones in pairs or at least do an option thing. It's a whole big thing but I, I wanted them to be comparable to each other so I really struggled with being like oh should I make Tobe <laughs> like the glass witch where it's kind of really voicey and first person and more of a contemporary feel with like little fantasy elements or should I do what I originally kind of wanted to do where the story has a little bit more of a bedtime story feel to it. Maybe even a little bit younger I think is what I was going for too. I feel like The Glass Witch is very upper middle grade and this book would be very like midline middle grade if that makes sense. <laughs> I really struggled with that for like half the month and what I ended up doing was writing bits of the first chapter in both a first person voicey voice and a third person voice I don't know what I'm trying to say but I did that and I quickly found out that the third person was what I needed all along and I was too stuck up on making this book like the glass witch because I feel like the glass witch is like the best thing I've ever written so I'm like terrified I'm never gonna be able to write anything as good again <laughs> so I was just like trying to capture that essence but this is a totally different book a totally different vibe totally different themes and like I need to let that book be what it needs and wants to be and not stop trying to make it the glass witch so I had that come to Jesus moment <laughs> in the middle of camp and then once I figured that out it was a lot easier. I still kind of went through a second little trial there uh, once I figured out it was going to be in third person where I just wasn't sure how I wanted to tell the story. Like I knew where the story was going. The whole entire story is completely mapped out. I'm a very stringent outliner. I actually have a whole video on my brainstorming and outlining process if you're interested in it. I will link it up and down below so you can check it out. <laughs> uh, but I just didn't know, like I knew the road we needed to go down, but I did not know the brand of vehicle we were going to take, if that makes sense. And in playing around and toying with this third person voice, all of a sudden I started writing the book with a very strong voicey narrator um, who was telling the story to the reader in second person in some chunks. And I was like, whoa, this is so weird. Like, I need to calm down. I don't think this is the right direction. And then I had another come to Jesus moment. <laughs> and I was like, Lindsay, just write the damn book. <laughs> just like 
write it how it needs to be written and stop worrying so much about it being perfect or comparing it to other books like just just write the story that is coming to you naturally because that's what is happening that's what's always been able to work for me uh so once i figured that out i feel like it all clicked together and i feel a lot less stuck and a lot less scared to continue with my story now i have this story and it's being told by a narrator like in the vein of like lemony snicket a little bit where you know lemony snicket is like addressing the reader throughout the entire series of unfortunate events and kind of telling you like you don't want to read like <laughs> put this book down um and my narrator is similar except instead of telling you not to read the story <laughs> the entire time the narrator is trying to convince you how like terrible and awful my main character is and i just think that's so funny and it lends itself so nice to the story and then I have this little bit of mystery now like who is the narrator is it like this character is it this character and like I don't know I think it's fun I don't know if it's gonna work but I'm really excited about it I think that the thing that I've learned this nano is that sometimes I just need to like let go of the control type things and just right like just trust myself i i feel like i don't do that <laughs> i want everything planned i want everything i want to know everything about the book before i start writing and i still do that like i know like 97 percent of everything but with the tone and with the voice and actually getting there and writing down the prose i need to just let myself do that and just flow and trust myself that i'm a good enough writer to like handle that <laughs> i think i was suffering a little bit too from I, I it's a really like common thing i think all people feel when they finish a book that like they'll never write anything as good as what they just finished and we all know that that's really a stupid thing to feel because like you just spent multiple drafts and probably years on a book and perfecting it and you can't compare that like almost perfect specimen to like a new zero draft like that's just so stupid so I think I was a little bit fearful with that and then just like not trusting myself and then just like health issues and so it was just I was kind of all over the place this month <laughs> so I really don't have like a big word count I don't even have my first chapter written but I feel like I've learned so much more about the story and about myself and grown and self-actualized this month <laughs> and I think that that's exciting and that's a win for me so i'm yeah i'm marking this one down in my book as a win so for the remainder of my life i guess i'm going to be working on this version and my hope is that by the end of the year i can have a first draft finished i really really am hoping so i should have enough time but with how sick i am I, like it's always up in the air and i don't like to set goals for that anymore because you know mean to myself we talked about this you know me but i'm just gonna keep plucking away at this book i'm really excited to tell this story also really nervous because it's like a disability learning to accept yourself as you are you're a full person and I'm like hmm, still on my own character arc journey with that so we'll see how that goes but anyways you guys thank you so much for watching uh let me know how your camps went down below I would love to know I hope you're doing great hope you're staying healthy eating your veggies and staying hydrated I really miss you guys it's been a while since I posted a video <laughs> so just talk to me down in the comments <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one Bye.